the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Taking it right down Broadway. 30, 10, and all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Wow, first play of the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, you spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And this is going to be intercepted. Well, certainly not a great start. You give up the one play touchdown, Charles, and it looked like this offense was trying to get the equalizer in one play on the other side. They certainly were, and I think that the shock of giving up the big play may have forced their hand a little bit in their play calling. They didn't have the discipline to just say, all right, we got time. Let's go ahead and work it downfield. Oh, you got a big play against us? We're coming right back to you. And it didn't go the way they envisioned. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Here we go, here we Here's go. second and 10 now from the 29. going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get back to the side. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you. Well, a throw for Barry, but it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And I think this is a situation where I talk to a senior caller and say, listen, it's third and long and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If you don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. Touchdown, Eagles! Seventeen yards out, and the Eagles are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Elliott, good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Seven now as they kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7 7 the score as they begin first and 10. 
That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. Here we go. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second and seven, Burrow. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The Brady line of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Did they get in there and knocked another one away? I think maybe that time of being gone makes defenses a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Here we go. They head to the line, facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. Now it's Burrow. Quick slant. He's got Joe Mixon. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way. A uh, throw for Boyd, but it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They started this drive backed up against the wall by the turnover. But I love their fight. Planted their feet and forced the incompletion on first down. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Second and seven with our score tied at seven. But they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? Quiz Watkins. And the Eagles have moved down in front. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From the 10. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Bengals drive about to get going. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles are coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, That'll hurt a little bit more, but this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. But that's a defensive coordinator has got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So a failure to connect on second down. That leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase, 79 yards. And the Bengals are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. McPherson now for the extra point. And, oh, he clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. Now he's 
Jones back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. You Knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. And this is going to be intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And the Bengals are going to take over here up near the 40. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. Now Burrow on first down. Open man downfield is Chase. He's got it. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Now bring a receiver in motion right. Burrow on play action. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the of this first quarter. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. On two. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now it's Burrow. Looking for Chase on the out route. He's got him. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And is it a the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? See that chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. It'll be Mixon on the out route as the pass is caught. Gun, gun. 11, 11, 11, 11. Throwing again on second down. Burrow. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Burrow with a touchdown connection to Tyler Boyd. And the Bengals are once again back in front. Zach Taylor's made the decision. They'll go for two here. The Burrow's going to look to throw for it. And that is caught for the two points. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes it can prove risky there. It worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted, they return it. That's two points for the defense, but not on that play. Here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, They'll throw four or five picks, and while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something which is wrong with the ball or the wind or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. 
thus far. They have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals are going to take possession of the football. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Burrow will throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence. And they end up with a touchdown. But incompletions on the first two throws. As it hovering up, they turn over good. Third down, Burrow. And he's going to go down. They get to him back in the field. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the Here game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see that when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass. And finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Throwing his hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And this is caught at the 20. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So they will wave off the flag and let the completion stand. Really great job by the receiver fighting through all the contact and still coming down with the football. All that great work and practice being put into the game. This is complete to Watkins on a slam. Touchdown! Watkins on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Eagles have cut it back within a score. Elliott good with a PAT. And that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And they will be backed up deep. Trouble here as they're going to start this drive at the six. The 
Bengals drive about to get going. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Back to Mixon on first down. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. From the 29, Burrow. He will find his man Chase complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. And he'll go right back to Chase. That's caught again. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. First down, here's Burrow. Here's Higgins out on the right side. And the ball is knocked out. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it. And not realizing the danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard. His tight end over the middle. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. On second and ten, Hurts. one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Hurts. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Quality coverage that time to slow down has been the main source of offense against them thus far. Got to find a way to slow down that ball in the air. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Bengals are going to get it back in terrific field position. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Over the middle, complete. That's Boyd. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Five yards remain on second down. Here's Burrow. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. The turnover put it in great field position. They need a stronger the third down coming up. No, not at all. And then what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. 
McPherson's kick is good, and the drive will wind up yielding three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through that. Oh, and Hertz is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Hertz throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. From the gun, it's Hertz. And this is going to be incomplete. But it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively. And now Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Eagles are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Wait a second. They declined the penalty? I'm as puzzled as you are, partner. I don't understand how any time you lose possession of the ball, yet you turn down a penalty that would give you possession back. Now let's make this simple. Anyone who put And I think the ball's out. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession. No turnover. I know it's going to the screen. Just hang on to the ball, man. So we just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, Burrow. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Rolling to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. To the air again, Burrow. And a fine chase on the right side complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Bengals. It's Tyler Boyd. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And they are able to add on to their advantage. They'll look to throw. 
And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. Eagles 21. Evan McPherson to kick off for Cincinnati. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you, an interception's result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's in. Throwing on second and eight. Hurts. And he's got his man on the out round. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Here's Hurts to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Dallas Goddard, 46 yards. And the Eagles are able to get a score back in the final stages for this third quarter. Elliott good on the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 and the 24. The Bengals drive about to get going. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number four. Here we go. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Burrow on play action. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Kaiser, safety, gets the sack. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. They'll look to throw here. This one hauled in by Sample. And he stopped at the 27 yard line. He ran short of the first down marker. Try and throw for it with Burrow. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Now Burrow. Connecting on the out route here with Higgins. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They go play action with Burrow. Throwing for Chase on the crosser. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Jamar Chase with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. Well, things obviously not going their way. Trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that penalty going to go ahead and give the other side some extra yardage. We all know it's an intense game, and things can get heated out there. That's part of the battle. But bottom line, you got to keep your cool. That was not an example of doing that. 
Take it in at the three. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Going across the middle, and Goddard's got it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Airing it out deep for Smith. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 23 yards the pick up there. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football. Not easily done in today's NFL. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing his hurts. And that is incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left. And this has to be a first down or a touchdown. Or this game's over. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down on a well-designed play there. That gets him 16 to move the chains. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Watkins. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They'll run with Sanders. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. So they got one of the two touchdowns they needed. Now for the onside kick. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Right. That one looks like he'll throw here. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. Miami tables have turned now. They were trying to salt this one away, but that interception potentially a game changer. Yeah, I just got to think to myself at this point of the game, I know you've been aggressive. I know that's your M.O., and that's fine. And all those teams that talk about all gas, no brakes, you better have the emergency lever to pull occasionally. They could have used it right there. They put themselves in a tough spot with that interception. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he is in as they have tied the of the fourth quarter. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? From the 10. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Bengals drive about to get going. 
And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw forward. No, and what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and they return to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence? He's going to turn things around. We'll see what they do. Well, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Burrow. Intercepted yet again, and that could be the backbreaker. Yeah.